do you ever wake up in the morning and you've been thinking overnight about your build in a computer game and suddenly the way forwards is absolutely clear well that happened to me i woke up this morning i've been thinking about different things in this build and i suddenly decided i know exactly what i need to do next now the one factor that is going to mean a lot of work for me is a shortage of light but let's get on with this and I'll show you what sort of things I've been thinking of. Firstly, we have this very primitive, very, very primitive line of, I, I don't know, I don't want to go through that. Yeah. you stay there two three let's jump and let's get some decent windows there yes look at the difference wow okay so we want to make some more of these now i've got lead through here Three lead ingots. And let's have a look whether I've got enough glass and acacia. I think I need whole glass. Let's just check that. Got enough acacia. <coughs> right, now do we need um, whole glass? I think we do. I think I need a whole piece of glass there. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, okay. In that case, I think we've got some glass boiling up downstairs. Yeah. And we're going to move these bloomeries too. They're going to go over here. This is the right place for bloomeries. And we need light here. Yeah, we're gonna move this all back and give ourselves a lot more room for bloomeries here, but not at the moment. Let's just stick a torch in here though. What we don't want is everything sort of spawning here. Right, okay, back to the windows. Okay, we're going to need what? How many bricks have I got there? One, two, three. Oh, wow, a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to need more than that. Let's try that. Eight. Okay, have we picked up all of those? No, we've still got some there. There's one outside to pick up. We'll pick that one up later. Okay, one more. I think I just had the right amount of lead. Nice. Wow. That already looks better. It really does. Okay, we've got two over. Should we want to do something with that? We've got some glass here and some glass here. Okay. Let's drop these back in. That was number one. Number two is we're going to move all this. And I think what I'm going to do 
let's get these up first before we start doing anything else with them. Whoa, there we go. It's weird picking them up. Oh, they only stack to eight. Okay. And we'll take this down from here. Okay. Well, have I done some work? Let me show you what I've been doing. I did do a lot of it over camera, out of camera, sorry. But let me show you what I have done. You saw the beautiful difference that this leaded glass makes. I have opened up the foul place. I'd always intended to do this, but I didn't have enough light on the other side. Look at that fabulous view. You will notice that the racks for the plates where you pour molten lead in to make the axes and pickaxes have been moved. And you will notice that I've moved the seeds from this end. And what I've done is I have divided the seeds up because we need to know what will cope with cold weather and what will cope with hot weather. So these are our hot weather seeds and I've also divided them by the type of nourishment that they need. So we have winter and summer P, winter and summer K, winter and summer N. And it's amazing what goes in where. I have opened up a space here and I've used this beautiful slate dry stone I found. And I think I might take those three out and put the slate dry stone in there because we have got fancy doorways and at the moment that looks a bit odd but I think that would be fantastic. And then over here, this is where our ingot moulds are. You will see that I have chiselled the shelf there on. It's just a small thing to chisel a shelf, but my goodness, it does look nice. We no longer have fence here. We now have a proper wall and proper windows, which is great. And this is where our vertical racks are now. I've moved the die and the mordant over here. So we have that moved over there. I have been like the sorcerer's apprentice in that I have made more molybdichalcis, more copper, more iron ingots. And this looks fantastic now. We do need a chert block under there to support that properly. Over here, you would remember that where we now have an opening, and this is where we're going to put the crucibles, we will do our smelting here. You can see that this is newly placed, and we have slate gravel underneath, which I think for a, a grate gives a really, really good look. So we'll have a look at that slate gravel there. Yeah, this is working quite well over here. And the boxes that contain all our metals, the chests, I've moved the iron round to here and I moved the other elements. So we have iron, raw, iron nuggets. So we've got the raw iron here and iron nuggets, meteoric iron, iron bloom. This is our cassiterite and galena and sphalerite. The cassiterite and the galena need splitting up. I have my minuscule amounts of gold and silver in here with bits of fuel. And I've got copper and malachite in there, which is great. Now the fuel is now over in this chest. So that's looking pretty good. So all that reorganization has happened. This window that I kept sort of bouncing up onto, I have closed in. It was just getting too annoying. And I'm going to close this in possibly, maybe put a window here, but we'll, we'll see about that. 
I have completed this glass roof for this section. I do like having the daylight. We need to work on these windows. Um, so the fuel is now over here. And then the other alterations I've made, I showed you that we have got this double now. And I have put some chalk dry stone in here as an experiment to see if I like it. I don't like the earth blocks here. And you'll see that I've still got borax in the chalk walls. This is expanding it. I've managed to make some molybdochalcis. I had plenty of lead left over. So a bit of, you know, 90, 90 lead, 10 copper molybdochalcis, perfect. So that's going to be our fire pit checking I've got the dimensions right, which I have. And then this wall will go back and that's where we will put our bloomeries. I haven't moved the bloomeries yet. They're still over here. So that's all I think looking pretty good at the moment. And I will just give you a little flavor of what it was like. Uh, you'll note I've completed the floor here, by the way. Um, I'll just give you a flavour of what it was like working in this new area. It works extraordinarily well because we can smelt here, we can have things going on the hell of hammer, and we can also forge here if we want to. It's also easier having this here. And having moved them from there, it gives me more space here. Um, having not having those chests there. I have added a couple of uh, tool racks. That's de minimis. It's not very much at all. But I thought you would like to see this new layout. And it looks... I just can't tell you how much I appreciate the openness of this. I don't like enclosed spaces, as you know. And again, I think being able to come round through here, this now has made it feel much wider for some reason. I don't know why it feels wider, but it does. And I think we will take three of these aged, sorry, slate dry stone. Let's see if we've got them downstairs or whether I've managed to park them in some odd chest. So we need slate dry stone here. Let's see if we've got some. Not that one. Slate, aged, po that's the polished rock. Cobblestone, the dry stone. Oh, we've got a lot of it. Yeah, we picked some up in a ruin. Do you remember, guys? So all this is sort of, I think, coming together amazingly nicely. I had always envisaged that the forge would be in this area. Um, yeah, I think this does need to amend to I've taken down some roof by mistake we've only got two of those there they are yeah let's have a look at that ah bit by bit now I've got to get that roof mended oh crikey <laughs> I'll come back to you when I've done some mending. But in the meantime, have a look at what it was like to actually work in this forge area and how much more efficient it is. Don't you just love this? Pouring out hot metal. It's just so good. Fantastic. Then we're going to be I have a little bit over. Just move that off my bar. Yeah, there we go. Let's get the arn bloom going. And then I've been making some molybdochalcis here. There's just a little bit more to go. That'll give me five 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I could do just a couple more. Do I want to? I'm not sure. Still got a lot of heat in that. Come on. You can do this. Nice. Okay, let's pour out the Molybda Chalkis. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nice. Okay. Whoops. Let's pick that up. Um, now, what do we have? Those are tin, meteoric iron. Mm hmm. Right, we can't process the meteoric iron until we've got an iron anvil. That's next on the list. So let's, what's happened to you? Oh, hello. Not quite warm enough. Let's warm you up a bit. And then we've got a lot of arm bars. Six. Nice. Good. They can go on our pile. That replaces what I've used for extra people. Okay. Another arm bloom to be processed. Now, are any of those... I'm going the wrong way. I must remember that my moulds are down here now. Are any of you warm enough to take out and manipulate? No, not yet. Are you? No, look at the colour. Look at this wonderful pink colour. Fantastic. It's dawn and time to harvest. Our sunflowers are ready. These are N. Okay. And our cabbages are ready. Lovely. Stunted due to heat. Yep. It's six degrees. There's something really weird about the temperature in this world. Now, I think we will put our scythe away and come back for the flax. Oh, the spelt's done and the flax and the turnips. Wonderful. Good. We shall eat well tonight. Let's go and start stocking this lot away. So, winter N is cabbage, nice. And this one, sunflower, that's fine. That will, I'm taking anything as minus five as being winter. Let's go and put our food downstairs. Is that, that is sunflower grain, it looks Horribly, will all that go in? No. Aha, we may have to have more pots down here. How exciting. Right, nice. I keep picking up odd bits of grass from somewhere. Oh, shut the shadow door. Let's go and harvest the rest of our crops. Right. Our pineapples stunted due to cold. 13 of 16. I've harvested 
this one. Right. Wonderful. Okay, let's pick up our stray little bits and pieces. grab you all. I think I'm short of inventory space. Let's go and drop the seeds indoors. So we've got turnip and spelt. Turnip is N. Spelt N. Good. Flax is K to minus five. Nice. And more bits of grass. Very odd. Very, very odd. I'm eating up some old turnips here. Let's carry on. Yay. Take these up. We'll do these by hand. And then we'll have a look and see what we can plant. Okay. Are we full again? My goodness, we are. Let's go and drop our food downstairs. I think we're going to have to double up on pots. Okay. Wow. Ah, flax grain, okay. Hmm. Wow. And it looks like we've got 55 flax. Pretty good. And some more turnip seeds, which we know are winter N. Okay, let's go and get the rest of our crops up. It takes time, doesn't it, to harvest? All right, now we've got lots of beds that can be planted. That will take P or K. That will take P or K. That will take N or P. And that will take K. And that will take P. So we basically want PK and then. Right, we have a lot of food. So let's take flax. Just keep that for a minute. N we can take, cabbage would be good. Yeah, we're slightly making on that. And what about winter pea? We don't have anything that's pea that will grow in winter. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's start at this end. Right, pea will go in there. So, or K. K. Now, we don't have P for the winter. Uh, let's do K. Right, 
now what's this one that will take n so we're going to put cabbages in here right we need more n and that one will do k again This one, mm, we might need that one fallow. Be a good idea. So a little bit more N. Uh, minus five. Yeah, let's do rye. That is highly resistant. Okay. Flax can go in there. Good. It's weird that I'm getting all this hay from somewhere. Let's just go and fill up the N with this very resilient crop for winter. That won't take in. How odd. I must have said something weird in there. Let's leave that fallow. Let it recover a bit. Good. Into N, yes please. Now, how are our bees? It's 12 degrees. Not ideal. But let's have a look at them. Yeah, you've got, we want to move you. I'm in the process of moving all my bees. Oh. Wasn't much in there. There we go. So let's harvest you. And we want to move this back by one. That's right, so that there and that back in front okay large harvestable excellent Harvestable. Great. I must say that having the extra beehives helps a lot.